In a historic move that reflects the Philippines' growing determination to safeguard its maritime sovereignty and strengthen its regional military presence, the Philippine Navy has signed a P-34 billion deal with South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries, HHI, for the acquisition of two brand new state-of-the-art guided missile frigates, representing one of the most ambitious and transformative steps in the country's naval modernization under the revised AFP modernization programs Horizon 2 and leading into Horizon 3. The deal includes the acquisition of two HDF 3200 class frigates based on an upgraded version of the earlier HDF 2600 design used in the BRP Jose Rizal class but with significantly enhanced weapon systems, electronic warfare suites and combat management technologies that will bring the Philippine Navy into a new era of maritime defense capability. The first of these vessels, the BRP Miguel Malva FFG-06, named after a revolutionary Filipino general who resisted American colonization at the turn of the 20th century, was launched in 2024 and officially delivered in early 2025, becoming the most technologically advanced warship in the history of the Philippine Navy. This vessel, displacing approximately 3,200 tons and stretching over 118 meters in length, is designed for blue water operations with long-range endurance and multi-domain warfare capability, making it capable of defending Philippine interests across the vast maritime expanse of the West Philippine Sea and beyond. The ship is equipped with an impressive arsenal, including a 76mm Oto Malara Super Rapid Naval Gun for surface engagements, 16 vertical launch system VLS cells designed to fire MBDA's VL Mica missiles for short to medium range air defense, two quad launchers for South Korea's deadly Lignex, one SSM 700K Haseong anti ship missiles, and a triple torpedo launch system for advanced anti submarine warfare. Additionally, the vessel features the Aselsan Goktanese 35mm close-in weapon system, CIWS, providing a final layer of defense against incoming threats such as anti-ship missiles and aerial targets. All of these weapons are seamlessly integrated through the highly sophisticated Hanwha Systems Naval Shield Integrated Combat Management System, ICMS, enabling real-time tracking, targeting, and threat assessment while its Israeli-made Elta Elm 2258 Alpha ESA radar offers exceptional range and accuracy for aerial and surface surveillance. The ship is also equipped with a hull mounted sonar, and potential future upgrades may include a towed array sonar system for deep sea submarine detection, further enhancing its underwater warfare capability. This combination of weaponry, sensors and software integration allows the BRP Miguel Malva to act as a command and control hub during joint maritime operations, patrols and responses to grey zone threats within the country's exclusive economic zone. The second vessel under the deal, the BRP Diego Silang, FFG-07, is named after another revered Filipino revolutionary hero and is currently undergoing final outfitting in South Korea, with delivery expected by late 2025 or early 2026. Like its sister ship, Diego Silang will feature the same powerful suite of weaponry and systems, making the two ships a fully complementary pair capable of coordinated operations, whether for maritime interdiction, disaster response or naval deterrence in contested waters. These frigates are not only physical assets, but also potent symbols of national pride and resilience, representing the Philippine Navy's shift from an aging coastal defense force to a modern naval power with serious blue water ambitions. This deal marks a significant continuation of the Navy's modernization, following the acquisition of the BRP Jose Rizal and BRP Antonio Luna, the first modern missile frigates delivered in 2020 and 2021, and it reflects an ongoing trend toward building a credible deterrence posture in the face of rising maritime tensions, particularly in the South China Sea, where territorial disputes with China have placed enormous pressure on Philippine maritime patrol capabilities. What makes the HDF 3200 design especially valuable is its modularity and open architecture, which allows the Navy to tailor upgrades over time, ensuring that these vessels can stay relevant for decades even as technology and threats evolve. 
Beyond the immediate acquisition of the HDF 3200 class ships, Hyundai Heavy Industries has also proposed the HDF 3500 design for consideration under Horizon 3 of the AFP modernization program, a more advanced and capable frigate with even greater displacement, stealthier profiles, larger missile loadouts, and improved survivability features. The HDF 3500 is based on the design of South Korea's FFX-3 frigates and could eventually serve as the future backbone of the Philippine Navy's surface combatant fleet, possibly replacing older vessels still in service and forming the foundation for a multi-layered defense structure at sea. These ships could carry longer-range surface-to-air missiles, advanced sonar and radar suites, and possibly even integrated mast systems for reduced radar cross-section. If pursued, this next-generation frigate would place the Philippines in league with some of the more advanced, mid-sized navies in Asia. Additionally, this collaboration with South Korea doesn't just involve the transfer of technology, but also enhances defense diplomacy and strengthens strategic ties between Manila and Seoul, a crucial alliance amid the complex geopolitics of the Indo-Pacific region. These ships are expected to regularly participate in joint exercises with allied navies such as the United States, Japan, Australia, and other ASEAN partners, projecting Philippine presence in multilateral defense networks and enhancing interoperability with friendly forces. From maritime sovereignty enforcement to humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, these frigates are built not only for war, but for peacekeeping, making them flexible and essential tools in the 21st century naval toolkit. As tensions remain high in maritime Asia and as threats become more multidimensional, from cyber and drone warfare to encroaching Coast Guard fleets and hybrid maritime militias, the addition of these warships represents a dramatic leap in Philippine naval capability, enabling the Navy to respond swiftly and decisively to any challenge. With every ship launched, the message is clear. The Philippines is no longer content to rely on hand-me-downs or outdated vessels. It is building a credible force on its own terms with homegrown determination and international cooperation. The commissioning of BRP Miguel Malvar is not just a ceremonial milestone. It is a clear signal of intent, purpose and strategic vision. These frigates aren't just metal and missiles. They are floating testaments to the nation's resolve to defend its waters assert its sovereignty, and stand tall in an increasingly contested region. As we at Historic Echoes continue to follow the story of the Philippine Navy's transformation, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, because the next chapter in maritime Philippine history is unfolding right before our eyes, and we'll be here to bring you every wave of it.